Hey YouTubers, welcome back to my home theatre. It's been a bit over a year since I last did a video about this place and I'd like to say it's because I've been busy updating it, doing things, but the reality is I've just been enjoying it. So, I said I would give you some more and here it is. Today, I will do some behind the scenes about what goes into this home theatre and then the next several days I'll be posting a uh, video about each of the components, um, a continuation, let's say uh, what it's like living with long-term reviews of certain pieces of equipment, particularly the projector and the uh, Harmony Smart. Yeah, that would do. I was trying to decide an order in which to sort of show this to you and I was going to be really cool and sequential about it, but I thought I'd do it top to bottom. So we'll start with the LEDs. This home theatre's got six LED low voltage down lights. Each one of them is five watts each, so only 30 watts in total for an entire room. In fact, all the lights in our house are LED, and I've got to highly recommend them to everybody because one, you're going to save a lot of money by using them, and two, they're better for the environment. The blue lights that you can see around the room are actually um, strip lights, LED strip lights, and I purchased the RGBs and I got the 50-50 version, so 5x5 five five millimeters. Um, I did have an issue with uh, the fact that I purchased about two or three, I think three different controllers over time from different retailers on eBay, and that caused um, a discrepancy between the actual LED um, remote control and the uh, controller pickup. So I had to fix that by buying four of the same controllers. So uh, one of my most recent tasks that I did was I changed them out so that instead of getting this like party, you know, that would happen like literally if I pressed the wrong button on the remote control, it would turn into a disco in here and it was uh, a bit crazy. <laughs> and um, I do still have that issue if I've got the projector on and I think I press this um, display or there's a button I try and find it but there is a remote control function on the projector that also the LED um, light controllers use as well and it gets into this party mode and well other than either deleting one or the other um, well actually I can't delete it can I? No. I'm always going to have that problem so just going to be wary of pushing it and so you can always delete out from the Harmony Remote app buttons you can choose what you do and do not have in there and uh, we'll get into that another time one of the cool things about LEDs especially the RGB versions is that you can change the color anytime you want you can have blue green red ooh, or even like a, a white not bad eh so in this room there's a total of four controllers controlling four sets of LED lights um, I used to actually only have three controllers and the right pelman up here would have this cable going between the two different pelmans and uh, so I could get away with three controllers for four sets. Um, but my wife didn't like how the fact that the uh, couch over here was getting hit by the door whenever you opened it. So we moved the DVD case out of here and in doing so I then needed another LED controller. But that's cool, it gave me a reason to have one <laughs> get all the controllers matching. That was the first important step to take. And uh, to really clean up the room and makes the layout a bit more spacious and better. So what is home theater? Home theater to me is a big screen experience and you get that with a projector. The Panasonic PT-AE8000EZ is a great projector. I purchased it in September 2013 for about $3,000 and I haven't regretted it since. You can definitely get a lot cheaper projectors, but you know, you definitely get what you pay for. Looking up close at this picture, if you were to, it's very, very hard to see where the actual um, LCD um, uh, panels align, uh, you know, like the uh, the pixels, so to speak. Um, it produces a beautiful film-like experience with vivid colors, perfect graduations of grays into black, very deep blacks, it produces 3D very well. Um, the 3D glasses that came with it, you have those two packed in, and it's very expensive buying new ones, so I did try to get out of buying um, the Panasonic branded 3D glasses, you know, so that um, everyone in my family could watch a 3D movie. But look, I got some cheap ones off eBay, tried it, 
They did sync with the Panasonic projector, but they did not do a very good job. You saw a definite flicker and gave you a bit of eye strain. So I forked out the money and purchased the extra um, Panasonic branded 3D shutter glasses and it's the best decision I've ever made. So part of a good home theater setup is a good screen. Now, unfortunately, I had a budget and I had to skimp somewhere and that was on the screen. This little sucker was only about $300 from eBay. Good construction in so far as it's an aluminium frame, a great velvet border which really absorbs the light so it masks really, really well. But the reflective, it's actually a 1.1, um, a or is it 1.3 gain screen. Um, it's definitely got a few hot spots in it and uh, you'll see my Panasonic um, projector review. Um, I'll try and demonstrate those hot spots to you but you know, I will hope to change this out one day for an acoustically transparent screen so I can situate the center speaker exactly at the dialogue height. Um, but for the moment it will do, but I do know that it doesn't need replacing. Good home theater is decorating. Now, some of my favorite characters from the Toy Story movies are here. And, uh, well, there could definitely be more things in this room, such as maybe a movie poster or two and a sign above the door with the cinema blue. But to me, those little decorating things are not as important as, well, see movies and holidays. So eventually I'll get around to buying them. Sitting in a home theater is very important. I got these second hand off Gumtree. They're actually Nick Scully leather recliners and uh, I paid only $600 for the, all three of them. Uh, the sitting position is about 3.2 meters from the screen here and the back row is about 4.5 meters. Nothing better than your own gold class experience at home where you can recline, have your drinks, have your food, have your popcorn and you know unlike at the movies if you need to go for a pee break or get that another beer you can just press pause and come back to your movie whenever you want so nothing better than doing home theater at home the speakers in this home theater are yamo um, the onkyo amplifier that i've got actually does 7.1 surround sound so although this is a 5.1 surround sound package by yamo i added on some samsung speakers which are surprisingly quite good and um, the specifications um, uh, quite impressive considering that they were originally just uh, for one of the high-end um, bedside sort of stereo combinations. Uh, all in all, a great tone, well balanced, enough power for this size of home theatre. Um, I would definitely be calling this home theatre like a small one. Um, total distance from the screen to the back of the room is only about, I think it's been over five and a half metres and it's about uh, uh, three and a half um, to four meters across. So more than enough uh, power for my needs. And um, I think the sound that I get out of them, uh, the mix, um, they're not too directional. Um, they lift the dialogue quite well. So although the center speaker, which is behind here, um, is actually low, your mind kind of plays tricks on you and you do kind of perceive that the dialogue is coming from roughly around about the center of the screen and that's by help through some of the trickery that's done by the amplifier uh, and that will definitely be fixed later on when I fall a you know, acoustically transparent screen. It's very important when you install a surround sound speaker package that one, you calibrate it so if the amplifier has a speaker calibration tool, use it. Um, also Look on YouTube, there's a lot of great how-to videos on where to place your speakers, where they should be directed. Um, mind you, there is a lot of riffraff out there, so please do look carefully. Um, I'll put in the link uh, below a few descriptions about some videos I've found that have been very helpful and um, helped uh, calibrate the system here for me, in particular the subwoofer, which um, is uh, very important. Finishing off this behind the scenes look at my home theater are the components. So I've got the Harmony Smart Remote Control, which is my uh, biggest video I've ever put on uh, with the unboxing and review. So, so far about 40,000 views. Uh, I'll definitely do a follow up uh, review of that because I've done some software changes there. Got the Sony Blu-ray player, the PlayStation 4, Fetch TV, Apple TV. And pulling it all together is the Onkyo amp, which is uh, for $650, a great amp. It's got eight HDMI inputs, all assignable, 
uh, dual um, HDMI out, uh, can do uh, one to the TV back in the study here, a different source to the projector, or vice versa, or it can actually mirror and do both at the same time. Uh, it uh, does up conversion, 3D, 7.1 surround, lots of different um, modes, DTS, Dolby Digital. Um, it's a good amp for the money and has enough warmth to get through the movies that I like to watch. And uh, speaking of which, it's probably about time we actually fired up the projector and showed you what the um, home theatre looks like when it's in use. Since the Cretaceous period, I mean, this thing is a this thing. Oh. 